today so it will be the doctor not the work and hopefully resting a little bit uh, so this will be a considerably shorter video than the usual ones and I hope it will go up on time you know the internet connection at home but I still wanted to make it because it was actually quite a nice weekend um, soccer wise and a special one because for me because the entire family went for the first time together stadium and we watched Lusk play in the first for the first time at home against Mattersburg and it was very cold temperature as well below freezing but I was mostly surprised that the kids had fun they, uh, they were not uh, complaining I think the little one only in the 75th, 80th minute is when she got a little bit antsy and at that point Lask or it was 2-1 up when we actually made it to the end of the game and then they wanted, they were, we were even staying a little, little bit longer, they were hoping for the mascot. I mean the greatest thing was they walk in and the mascot is right, the zebra the mascot is right there greeting them. Uh, that was actually uh, already set the tone for a great game. When Lask scored the first goal which was right where we were sitting, we were behind. I was surviving the the big one, Sophia uh, Newton, uh, as a goal scorer. So she was uh, sad, 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 but a little one also got up and yeah, yeah, and she was yelling last. And then on the way home with the tramway, uh, they were fencing, and the girls thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed that part as well. And they're still talking about it. So that was. Good news for me, <laughs> I have to say. I, I was afraid they will not enjoy it, especially because of the cold. I think because of the cold and because uh, it was also a long Friday, I think I got something because I sat on Sunday. Since yesterday, I feel pretty weak, maybe slight temperature, and uh, not all that great. Anyway, uh, Big leagues, what was happening? Um, well, Dortmund won 2 1 to seal the winter championship against Werder Bremen. I think Bayern won big two. I actually don't know how Dortmund played now. Uh, I actually saw the highlights of the Dortmund game, and that was. Uh, I, th I think they won 3 1. Uh, it was a much, much uh, more in favor of Dortmund than the final score, and they were wasting chance after chance after chance. But uh, Bremen made a really nice goal uh, as well. But that was their first chance. Um, the Turin Derby uh, was a tight affair with um, Juventus winning thanks to a Ronaldo penalty, but there should have been a penalty given for Torino before that, who were actually really pressing to make the goal. Juventus does what Juventus does. I didn't like what Ronaldo did with, with, with the goalkeeper, the, you know, this chest bump. Uh, seemed to roll it out. Uh, I also saw the Manchester City beat Evan quite handily 3 1. So this put up the pressure on Liverpool. And did Tottenham beat Burnley 2 uh, 0 or something like that? I think that, that was also one where they, or one nil, where they were having chance after chance. And then Inter beat Udine 1 0. I don't have any notes, I'm doing this now from memory, uh, the old fashioned style, because for such a shortish video, I'm not gonna go deep. But yeah, I only watched highlights of these games. Uh, the other, I think Real Madrid also won uh, 1 0. Uh, very easy, but you know, without ever convincing. Uh, the, I actually watched. One full game and three half games, if you will. Uh, yesterday, the full game, of course, was the big game of the weekend, uh, which was Liverpool against Manchester United. Uh, Liverpool really impressed me at the beginning by taking the game fully to Manchester to United, uh, having chances and finally converting on a nice through ball. Uh, and then 
Sadio Mane really nicely controlled and slotted at home and at that point I thought wow this is gonna go uh, really big into Liverpool's way but Alisson makes a goalkeeping blunder um, yeah he was the hero against Napoli and now he was about to become zero and Lingard slots the uh, rebound home to make it uh, rather undeserved but Mourinho like Eric was must have been felt horrible to go 1-1 uh, at halftime if you're Liverpool. But you know, Liverpool actually, you gotta give it to them. They don't waver and are actually quite cool. Uh, stay cool and keep on going. That's what they did in the second half. Uh, by, by the way, I like the jersey matchup. Uh, it was all dark jersey, but I think it looked great. The red of Liverpool against the uh, Navy of United, although I didn't know why they played. That didn't make, uh, make it all maybe. And yeah, and then uh, when it just seemed that Liverpool cannot break through, I mean, they had chances. Uh, Shakiri comes on, I think within two minutes he, I mean, it was, he makes it 2 1, uh, but that was a billiard goal. I think Mane makes the dribble, um, makes the cross in, which is deflected towards the goal. The goalkeeper deflects it out. And Shakir, you can see, uh, is taking the shot, but it again takes a deflection right on the bar and in. Um, really, Billiard, I think. If that would not have been deflected, uh, the hair might as well have saved it. And then a few minutes later, Shakiri makes a 3 1 similarly deflected shot. But yeah, Liverpool fully deserved winner. I mean, they outclassed United uh, by all accounts. Uh, I saw a little bit of Sampdoria against Parma, the deciding phase where they, uh, Sampdoria scored two goals. Um, the, both of them nice team goals, Cagliarella with a thundering header uh, coming through. So Sampdoria actually really, and after, after, afterwards the surprising thing was that they played, they continued playing forward. So really giving, uh, not content with the um, two nil. Only at the very end they tried to kill the game off. Um, Roma played against Genoa. I only saw the phase where there was no goals going. It was a very lively game. Horrible goalkeeping mistake um, by Olsen gives Genoa the one nil. Roma equalizes through Fazio. Um, I think Piontek made the one nil. Uh, then it became 2-1 Genoa and right before the halftime uh, Kleivert with a nice uh, shot and that's the son of the father. I was there when the father scored the Champions League winning goal in Vienna against Milan. Uh, made it 2-2 and it was still a very open game uh, even when all those goals were, were scored in the end. Cristante with a wonderful shot makes it. Uh, Santa himself had a quite quite a big chance to uh, make it 4-2, hit, hitting the post. I think a Torino goal was disallowed uh, for offside, which I think was the right call, thanks to VAR. But yeah, uh, Roma ends up 3 to win it in a game that probably would have deserved 3-3. It was a wonderfully offensive game. People would say very un-Italian, but that's what it was. And what I saw... Uh, what I intended to see was Barcelona play at Villarreal. Villarreal actually having the bet of the game for about 30, 30 minutes, having a great chance through Boateng who hits the bar and it goes out, out, not in. And then Messi just a little bit around the uh, uh, edge of the box. is dribbles, plays a wonderful through pass onto Suarez who slots it home for 1-0. Then a nice pass by uh, a nice pass out of, out of midfield hits Messi, clinically finishes 2-0. Uh, right after halftime, Messi again 3-0. Uh, it was a, four, a third Messi goal. Another wonderful play in... Um, I think the first one was uh, Suarez Alba Messi. Uh, and this one was 
I think Dembele Suarez. Um, I'm I'm not sure, but it was uh, it was again a really wonderful attacking move by Messi, and then PK in the Messi position makes it five nil. Absolute dominance by Barcelona. Absolute masterclass by Messi. Uh, that was the performance of the weekend. Gotta say it that way. Well, I think there did not much change on the top of the leagues. Uh, I know Milan is playing on Tuesday. Tonight is a game. Uh, Napoli also won in Italy. So yeah, I'm not so much on the top of things, but uh, the main results, I think nothing really changed on the top of leagues. Let me know which games you watched and how you liked them. If you agree with my assessment of these games, um, like this video if you enjoyed it. It was a little bit shorter, but maybe that's not the worst of it. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I will talk to you soon. Bye.